Hey everyone, it's Cindy and I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> it's been a long time, but I wasn't planning on making a video tonight, but I don't know. I was, I've been raw for two days, like really doing good raw raw all the way. And I was making this soup tonight and I thought, you know what, why not do a video and share my soup tonight? So I did all the prep work before you came aboard, but before I, I go into the um, recipe, I wanted to say that I was, I've was i been working all day and running around, and I had a smoothie for breakfast, and I was planning to have a green juice for dinner, but the time rolled by, and it got later and later, and now I'm sitting at my computer going, gosh, I'm really hungry. and. Um, now it's time to eat something because it's like, wow, I don't even want to tell you what time it is. It's late. So I decided, not a green juice because that will keep me rolling for some hours. So I decided to have a carrot, avocado, um, well, I'll tell you the recipe in a minute. But first I just want to tell you, I got the munchies really bad and I said, what? Oh my gosh, I'm, I need to eat something now. So. I took my medjool dates and I just took some raw almond butter and mm, this is such a good snack. So when you need to reach for something fast, just do this because one will be enough. I had one and then I was able to prepare my dinner. I really didn't need the second one, but it's sure good. Anyway, be prepared for things like this when you need something quick to eat so you grab something healthy instead of something that is not so healthy. So in my soup tonight, I'm using carrots. Um, I'll use a half of avocado inside the soup. I'm going to squeeze some lemon in there some two medjool dates, and I used four carrots by the way, a piece of ginger that's been skinned, and I'm going to actually blend this all together and it'll be the soup part. The avocado helps it to be um, smooth, smooth and creamy and a little bit thicker. And I've seen people actually juice the carrots and then make it, but I thought why? I can just make it with the carrots and have the whole carrot and the fiber and it's all good. Inside of this I'm going to add um, hot curry powder because you know I love turmeric and, and all those different um, spices and this curry powder has all of that and it has the cumin, the turmeric, the garlic, oops I forgot the garlic, I'm going to put garlic in this too. Um, it has all kinds of different spices that I like in one. So I just bought this to have all of those spices. I will use some pink Himalayan salt and a little bit of paprika and some black pepper. So let's blend this up. And I need to go get that garlic. So I'm using the Vitamix and I'm just putting everything in here. You don't add water, you just put it in. So I'm just going to do this fast style here. So it's going to be a, a, a blend. If you can think of all these different tastes together, the carrots with the avocado, creamy, um, with the ginger, so a, you know, a little bit of spiced ginger in there, and then squeeze some lemon to add just a little bit of, it combines with the ginger really good and um, it'll just, it'll actually open the flavor up, make it much more flavor, flavorful. Adding the dates gives it a little bit of sweetness. And then you start, um, oh I forgot the avocado. And then you start adding the spices. So now we've got like the Indian spices coming in to make it a little spicy and exotic. Some paprika. I would put actually um, cayenne, but I don't have any. And just a 
little salt. You don't really even need to put the salt, but it brings the flavor out. And I think that everybody says that. Is it true? Maybe, maybe not. I'm getting a piece of garlic because I really cannot have this without some yummy garlic. Garlic and, ooh, imagine all this, the flavors in this. So if you're not really a spicy person, you may not like this, but it's really super good, believe me. Um, actually, I could even add some coconut milk in it. And if I need to, I will. If I need to, I will. I don't know if I'll need to. So let's try this out. seen a Vitamix like this before. I sure haven't. My friend gave it to me and I was like, that's a Vitamix? But it sure is. Okay, let's do this. We will need some coconut milk. And we're going to add some coconut milk because since we didn't juice the carrots, I'm not so sure the Vitamix is going to blend that up without much moisture. So I'm going to give a little bit. I'm going to add as we go because it's very rich and I don't want to use a lot. So my mixture seems to be pretty thick. I should show you. It's like, um, well, it's like pretty thick as you can see that's not really a soup so consistency what I did was um, the mixtures kind of thick so I put just a little bit of unsweetened almond milk Dang, that's some thick soup. so now I know why they juice their carrots first <laughs> it's really thick I added probably quarter cup or third cup of coconut milk and then a half a cup of um, almond milk, and it's still like, I mean, it's like ice cream. Actually, you know what it tastes like? Oh my gosh, this is so yummy. It doesn't matter that it didn't come out like a, like a um, wa more watery soup. This tastes just like pumpkin pie. Oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe it. it tastes like dessert. How can I make the rest of this recipe when this tastes this good. Okay, I'm going to show you what I did, what I intended for this soup to finish looking like because I want you to know the recipe. <clears throat> but also, I actually want to see if it's going to taste good that way because to tell you the truth, if you weren't listening or watching me right now, I would just eat this like this. It's like it's so good. It's just like pumpkin pie. Oh my god, it's so good. So I'm just going to make the soup, which this should be definitely more watery if it was a soup. But let's call it a stew then. You know, that's the thing with raw food. You just never know how it's going to turn out. And it's actually kind of fun because you experiment and you learn along the way. Just like today, usually I make this, like I say, I juice the carrots first, so I've never experienced trying it this way, but now I know what happens. And I actually do like it, but I think I do like the juice one too. Um, but also, usually I use cilantro, and I'm glad I don't have that now because this is a different recipe. Um, but I didn't have cilantro, cilantro, so like a raw foodie does, they look in the refrigerator and they see what they have and what they can pull together. So instead of the cilantro, I actually use, I decided to cut up little tiny pieces of um, celery. So that's my meat. So usually I cut up tiny pieces, pieces of cilantro and put it in and then eat it. And it's like the, the uh, cilantro is kind of meaty. But I thought, you know what? Uh, celery would be really good too. So I was going to do that and put 
celery in my soup. But now that this really isn't like a soup, we'll see how it goes. I cut up some little pieces of avocado to go in the vegetable type of meat soup. So I was going to put that in there and because this isn't real soupy, I'm not adding a lot of this because I don't even know if it's going to be good now. And a little bit of red or purple onion because I like onion and I thought it would be really delicious on this soup. So now this was the finished product. But like I said, it's not very soupy. But I want to taste it like this to see if it's any good. So let's give it a taste test. Let's see, what would pumpkin pie taste like with celery, avocado, and onion? I don't know. Actually, it's pretty good. You know what? This is pretty dang good. Um, it's really good. I will eat this actually. This is very delicious. But I will probably, like, alone, it tastes just like pumpkin pie. It's so freaking good. But like this, it tastes like soup, pumpkin pie, good whatever that is but try this next time just um you, actually if you didn't have a juicer you could do the same thing but just add a bunch of water i don't really like to do that next time i will probably unless i want to try eat pumpkin pie dessert i'm going to have that otherwise if i want the soup i will juice it first and then put these toppings or use the cilantro in any case this was not a disaster this turned out to be a delicious experiment because now I have another sweet dessert that is really made out of vegetables. How can you lose? I mean, that's good. So cheers. Here's to my pumpkin pie soup. I don't know. Here's to my, here's to my pumpkin pie soup. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's good. See you guys later. Bye.